We're going to talk about Makari Vickers, Mr. Seatbelt, as he has added Oklahoma to his top three. The temperature's cooling down here in Oklahoma, but Soonerville is still blazing hot on the recruiting trail. Let's talk about it here in just a second. Let's dive right into the meat and potatoes here as Makari Vickers has added Oklahoma to its top three as he narrows down going into where the commitment's going to be. Luckily, we're not going to be talking about Coach Bill Beatenbow, so y'all won't be beating me over my head about how I pronounced his name wrong. Yeah, I made the mistake. My bad, y'all. It was a late Saturday, Sunday, um, a lisp, a lot of drinks. Just, you know, it was the weekend. But anyway. Let's dive into this player, because there's a lot of cool things about him. I want to make this quick video for you all. Thanks for tuning in here to Unfair Sports. We want to talk about this recruit as Oklahoma is in his top three, and I think there's some special things about him. So first off, some stats on Makari. Makari, 6'1", 180, so he's a nice size safety. He's out of Tallahassee, Florida, out of Robert F. Monroe High School, and he played safety as well as a return specialist. Now, th- th- those two things are pretty key about the talent that we see with him as he is very much athletic and super shifty and he's a bigger type safety. So with that on the special team side, let's start with that first, even though he's listed as a safety, uh, the return specialist in him is dynamic. He's super shifty. His ability to return, like looking at this video of watching him make these returns, cutting back on folks, going across the field, stopping on the dime, making these moves. This is something special that Oklahoma is going to get out of him. He kind of makes, reminds me, you know, bear with me here on a little bit of a mixture of JT Thatcher and Antonio Perkins for you old heads. He, he, he has those moves while also coming in there. And being a safety off the top, which JT Thatcher was back in his former OU days. And so at him him being about 190, he runs sub 11 in the 100 meter day. So he's fast. So he's got the speed. And as you can see the breakaway in the videos that I've shown, he's got something there. And now the thing that really jumps out to him the most, though, and this is the one thing that Sooner fans, there's no shade to anything in the past, you all would appreciate, is the dude know how to tackle like, look at these hits. The man knows how to wrap up, put his helmet in the legs, get him to the ground. He goes low. He has the skill set that Oklahoma has been needing for years on the defensive side of just hawking towards the ball and actually getting a tackle. He's not trying to knock a guy over with just power. He's trying to wrap you up and make sure that you are done in one tackle. He doesn't want to bump you, let you have a chance to bounce off of him. Look at him hawking these running backs. He's coming from the safety position, blazing right at them, getting the tackle. That's what's going to be key and critical in college football. The ability to make those stops, especially when you go against some of these nice running backs that's going to be in the Big 12, um, as well as in the SEC. They're, they're infamous for having great running backs. You want to be able to stop them as well as defend the pass. I mean, as his speed, sub 11 seconds on a 100 meter, he'll be fine, I think, in coverage. And we've seen, you can see in some of his highlights on Huddle that he does well in coverage. But the bigger thing with him is his ability to tackle. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, what do we need to do to get them him to commit to Oklahoma? Like, do we need to go follow him on all his social medias? And as y'all saw in the picture, I saw pointed earlier, please go follow him, show him some love. Here in the middle, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe button if you're liking what you're hearing so far and share because sharing is caring. I need those likes so that YouTube knows that I'm making the right video. So they'll suggest this every time I drop a video for you all to hear about these recruits and college football. But with that, we need to find a way to get him to come to Oklahoma. So we're battling with Michigan as well as Alabama, as you saw in the picture. Um, Alabama, the good thing for us is, and I guess the thing could potentially hurt Alabama a little bit, is Jay Valai is the main recruit recruiter for Macari. And Seatbelt really likes Jay as he followed him from Alabama to Oklahoma, in which is why we are top three. So if we can leverage that, and then of course the energy of Brent Venables, he's a secondary recruiter. He has he has that energy that is just contagious, and everyone loves. Everyone talks about how much they love Venables for that. And I talked about this in some past videos. But the good thing is, is that Jay Valai is doing the magic of bringing in talented players like this that he has brought everywhere else that he's been. And hopefully we can reel in Makari. So far, it looks like a lot of the predictions in Crystal Ball says that Oklahoma has a great chance of winning Makari. 
I hope so. We just cross our fingers and toes that he pans out, comes here, and shows out with the sooner. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit the like, subscribe button, drop more videos a lot more often around the recruits, especially as they start dropping their top threes and talking about the the roster itself. So you'll get more of that stuff here over the next month as we prepare for the season in September. With that, we'll chop it up with y'all in a few days. Check out the other videos. Mm-hmm.